What's up friends, welcome back to another episode of Better Call Jimmy. Looking forward to getting into another episode with you all. Hoping for some reveals here with what was going on with Mike at the end of last episode because that definitely has my interest peaked. And I'm wondering if Mike is already involved with the things we saw him involved with in Breaking Bad and has just only kind of shown him in this small isolated space up to this point because I thought he was just work in that parking lot and that was about it in his life right there but it seems like there's more to it if some cops are looking for him so hoping that we don't have to wait too long before we see the result of that interaction but if it's anything like Breaking Bad I'm sure we won't start off with it but also I feel like at any moment Jimmy's elder law business could start popping off and so hoping for his success and I assume that's just the avenue he's going to pursue right now because that's the best opportunity for success it seems like but I'm excited to get into the episode and hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow of course you can check out the full-length reaction to these on patreon link for that is in the description below they're always uploaded a couple weeks before the YouTube edits so if you'd like to see them ahead of time that's the place to do it and of course you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me there but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into episode 6 Man, trains in a Vince Gilligan production just scare me now. Hopefully there's no little kids nearby. There he is. I love how prominent he is in this show. This is so great. So is this when he first arrived in Albuquerque then? Mike. Hey. Hey, thanks for coming. Oh, okay, so I guess she didn't know he was here then. Maybe it's been a while, or I'm not sure why she gave him such an odd look before. I mean, I hope I am correct in assuming she's his daughter. Can't remember if we ever saw her in Breaking Bad. If we did, I feel like it was just a brief scene. What the heck is he doing right now? Why did he go in there and get that? Is there another reason that Mike is here right now? Oh, okay. He's dealing with what I assume is a gunshot wound, and that's why he got the pads, just to clean it up. Shoot, so did something happen, and then he just immediately bolted for here? I guess we never really did learn why he stopped being a cop. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Oh, we're staying in the past. I actually like that. Are we getting like an entire Mike backstory episode, man? I would love that, but I never expected us to get it. How you doing? I'm, yeah, I'm okay, you know? And Kaylee? She still asks about him. Where's daddy? She just misses him. Yeah. What happened to the dad? Because we've never discussed that before, right? Something bad must have happened, though, if he's just kind of disappeared. I'm better, and I'm sorry it took me so long, but I'm not like I was. I'm back. I keep thinking about how before Maddie died, like, for a few weeks there, he was different. Is that the dad, I'm assuming? So I guess that's a pretty dark fate, then. Hasn't told us if it was natural causes, though, or just an accident. Also, I wonder what was wrong with Mike before, if he's saying that he's better now. Before he died, there was this phone call. I go to listen on the stairs where he couldn't see. He gets intense. Like, he'd be screaming if he wasn't whispering, you know? Oh geez, was he involved in some bad stuff? And does she think that Mike knows what it is? Or is she just asking for advice? The next morning I called him out. What the hell was that about? What's going on? And he wouldn't talk to me. I think he was talking to you. Me. I mean, who else? Oh, interesting. Was Mike not the biggest fan of him? And he's been hiding it from her this whole time? It makes me think it was you. Stace, I don't think it was. I know what you're doing, replaying it over and over, thinking if I'd Notice this or change that, maybe I could have done something. Oh, I have a feeling that it was suicide then if they're having this kind of a dialogue about it. Something obviously happened between this point and when he drove by earlier because she did not look friendly later on. Maddie's gone. That's really all there is to it. Yeah, I guess that's that. 
I don't think she bought Mike's story that he wasn't involved in that phone call. I love this sequence though. This is some great stuff. I like actually getting to see his daughter in a conversation too. It's definitely providing a lot more context for characters that we didn't get in Breaking Bad. Hey, little sting here. I don't do it. Yeah. You're gonna want to take it easy. <laughs> That's never been something Mike's been able to do, taking it easy. At least he was able to get it taken care of under the radar, though. Passing through or sticking around? Why? I know people. I can get you some work. I am not looking for that kind of work. Oh, is this how he gets hooked up with the parking lot job? You're not under arrest. You want to walk, walk. I gotta say, I uh, expected more cooperation from you on this, cop to cop. Lawyer. <laughs> Oh, he is gonna call Jimmy. Let's go. Oh, brilliant stuff. Uh, this could be his big case that he's been waiting for. Certainly a lot different than just the elder law that he was practicing. Those two cops out there are from Philadelphia. The young one who's been writing in his little notebook. He's gonna take it and put it in his jacket. I want you to take that coffee and spill it on it. Whoa, he's orchestrating an entire plan. What the heck? Does he not actually want his lawyer sir? Services. He's just a pawn for a play. Are you nuts? You can't be serious. Hey, I hate to remind you of this, but you owe me one. The assist I gave you with the missing persons problem. <laughs> He's got a point. He certainly does owe him for that one. Basically gave him all the information he needed for that case. I wonder if it's gonna actually happen. I feel like maybe after seeing a little bit of an interaction, he might change his mind on the method though. Jimmy, that is. Hoffman, Fenske, fill me in. Jesus, seriously? Look, don't let Mr. Ehrmantraut's dancing eyes and bubbly bon vivant personality fool you. <laughs> Oh jeez, I love that line. And I'm glad he's saying that for the audience sake because I want to learn about all this. Matt went in with his partner, Officer Troy Hoffman. They had Sergeant Jack Fenske backing them up. Unfortunately, things got out of hand. The three of them were ambushed and uh, Matt didn't make it out. Oh, okay, that's what happened to his son. Dang, that's awful. They don't think Mike is a suspect in that, do they? That'd be something I don't think he would do. Well, it's our operating theory that Hoffman and Fenske were mixed up in something. Maybe that got Matt killed. Yeah, sorry, I gotta do my lawyer thing here. What does my client have to do with any of this? I've gotta agree with Jimmy, man. I don't know how the heck they think he's involved with any of this. That sucks that his partner potentially got him killed, though. I don't know much about Hoffman and Fenske. I saw him in a bar the night they died. Were they drinking with anyone? Did you see him with anyone in particular? I couldn't tell you. I was, you know how I was. Oh, dang, man. Was he like a heavy alcoholic or something like that? He doesn't sound like he was too much with it. I don't think he wanted to get into all of this, though, which is why Saul's here. Still, you, uh, you didn't come back for the funerals, correct? Even though Hoffman was Matt's partner? Do you remember anything about that night at the bar? They do suspect he's involved. What? I mean, knowing the kind of stuff that Mike has been involved in, he could very well know. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. Jeez, sorry, Come sorry. I can get most you know what? Hey, hey. <laughs> Jimmy, you legend. That's awesome. He actually did go through with it. I had a feeling that might happen once he heard Mike's story. These two are the ultimate dynamic duo once again. You got to do that right here, right in front of me? What's so important in there that we had to pull that third rate Marx Brothers routine? Oh, so it was so he could steal it. I thought it was the coffee was gonna mess up the paper or something, his notes. How did you know that I would spill that coffee? <laughs> What's <laughs> yeah, supposed to mean, huh? Okay, great. You're the strong, silent type. Hooray for you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're so dang good together. Their personalities are so contrasting, but they fit together like a puzzle. And obviously the actors both do a great job. Oh, he's going back to his daughter's place now. Interesting. What new information does he have for, besides getting mad at her for calling the cops on him? What exactly did you tell him? Tell him Matt was dirty? Is that what you told him? How could you possibly think that? That's your husband, the father of your child. I didn't say that. I told him I found money. Oh, no. I feel like that money might be from Mike. He's always been one to give him money in the future. And is Matt taking the fall for it? And 
that's why Mike is so upset about it? All I want is for whoever killed Maddie to rot in a cell for the rest of their life. And then I want whatever's left of them just dumped in the trash. That's what I want. I don't know if she's going to keep saying that. I feel like what they uncover might not be something they like, especially if Mike is involved. No, it was between me and my son. So you're admitting it was you. He wasn't dirty. You get that through your head. My son wasn't dirty. <laughs> Whoa, man, that is some of the best acting I've seen from him in this character. So wait, is she a daughter-in-law and Matt was his son? I guess I'd never been clear on that before. I like that we might be getting a glimpse at Mike in his cop days right here. Although it doesn't look to me like he's here on police business. Is this Matt's car or something? Is he trying to break in? Holy crap, that is impressive, man. Start calling him Swiss Army Mike. This man can do anything. Is that his son over there? Are we finally gonna get to meet him? Oh wait, I guess that could also potentially be Hoffman and Fensky, the other two. Mike certainly looks worse for the wear, though. He wasn't kidding when he said he wasn't doing too good back then. <laughs> I know, I know it was you. <laughs> oh shoot, that would be terrifying to hear him come up to you and say that. So he was on to him from the beginning. Is he the one who got him killed? And that's why he peaced out? Hey Mike! Mikey! Oh no, don't tell me these guys are gonna rough him up in this condition, especially after he told them the information he knows. Come on. Uh, walk. Come on, don't don't be an ass. Come, come on, on get let's the car get ready. Out. It's cold out here. Come on, come on, Mike. I don't know, I don't trust these guys one bit after learning that they're dirty cops. They seem like nothing but bad news. That's mine. Later. We don't want you to shoot your foot off now, do we? Yo, they're not taking him away to kill him or something, right? I mean, clearly they're involved with some bad people, so I wouldn't put it past them. You killed Maddie, and you killed him for nothing. You killed him because you were scared what you thought he might do. Oh, that's so devastating, man. I feel so bad for Mike. Was he already in this state before Matt died, or is that what pushed him to this point? But it was you. And I know it was you, and I'm going to prove it. <laughs> oh, I love this, dude. These two cops are terrified right now. Mike's coming for him. Obviously, unfortunately, he wasn't too successful because they died before any justice could be served. Help me get him out of the car. Oh no way, he's got a backup, but he's, is he putting on a front? He's just faking like he's super drunk. This has got to be where he gets the bullet wound, right? Now you wait there one second. I'm going to work this whole thing out, okay, Mikey? He couldn't live with it. Not dying the way he did. It's too much for the old man. So Mikey had decided to eat his gun. <sighs> so dark. They really are going to kill him, these monsters. He's drinking himself to death. We're doing him a favor. Smart what I would have done if oh. I were you. <laughs> oh, let's go, my guy. Show him up. Nobody's going to push around him like this. just all happened that fast like that. Mike took one in the shoulder and barely flinched. What an absolute boss. <laughs> Yo, Mike, dude, so terrifying, but so awesome. What a freaking scene. I mean, with as bad as those guys are, it's a good thing he took him out. Matt wasn't dirty. I was. Everyone was in that precinct. That's how it worked. You turn in your buddy, you're screwing yourself. 
Shoot, bro, he's telling her all of this. This is a huge moment. Like I said, I don't know if she really wants to hear this. Hoffman went to Maddie, offered to cut him in. Only fair, right? They were partners. And Matt did what you'd think. Wanted to go to the IA, do the right thing, shut him down. Oh, God. Oh, that's awful, man. Matt actually wanted to do a good thing, but Mike was already in deep himself. You know what a cop fears most? Getting locked up with everybody you put away. You threaten a cop with that, you make him dangerous. And that's what I told him. Oh, man, some great lines right here. I love his line delivery, too. He's got such a great voice. That must have been the phone call that they've been talking about. Take the money. Do something good with it. But he wouldn't listen. My boy was stubborn. My boy was strong. What a scene, man. This is so good. I've never seen this side of Mike's character before. This is the first time I think he's ever really gotten emotional. He put me up on a pedestal, and I had to show him that I was down in the gutter with the rest of them. Broke my boy. I broke my boy. Wow, man, this is incredible. Definitely the best acting I've seen from Jonathan Banks up to this point. Love that it's just pure silence outside of the dialogue, too. I got Maddie to take the money, and they killed him two days later. I was the only one that could get him to debase himself like that. And it was for nothing. I made him lesser. This is top tier TV right here, man. This is incredible. No wonder Mike has been such a hardened, depressed man throughout the rest of his life. He's got to feel so dang responsible, unfortunately. If they kill Maddie, who killed them? Pop. What happened? You know what happened. The question is, can you live with it? Bro, that is one of the best scenes out of this show for sure. I think best scene for Better Call Saul up to this point. But even in Breaking Bad, man, that is up there with the best of them. Holy crap. What a freaking performance, dude. I was definitely feeling the emotion from that. I love that he's getting a chance to really shine even more than he already was. Jonathan Banks with the character of Mike. I hope we get a lot more of that. I don't know what's gonna happen to him legally though and with the cops going forward. You know you're watching something special when an already essentially perfect piece of media in Breaking Bad is getting elevated by what I'm watching here in Better Call Saul because the character of Mike has taken on a whole new light with this backstory that I'm watching right here because if I were to watch obviously I'm going to eventually so when I will rewatch Breaking Bad I'm going to look at him from such a different perspective and view knowing all this that happened to him and we're only a couple episodes in and the first thought that comes to my mind is how much more the relationship between him and Jesse means now knowing what happened to his son he actually probably at some point felt like Jesse was filling that void in his heart and why he was always kind of so protective of him and latched on to him after a little bit of convincing and so it makes their relationship even more heartbreaking considering what happens throughout the events of Breaking Bad and so I just love how much great character development and overall story lore this is adding to the Breaking Bad universe just incredible stuff and obviously the filmmakers didn't have to like start from scratch coming into this show working with similar characters but even just from a technical aspect they they were just building off the already incredible work they were already doing which I feel like has really benefited Better Call Saul because this is an astonishingly good first season just first six episodes of the show I just am loving it to death so far and obviously we know that Mike is able to get out of whatever situation this is and continue living on later on but I don't exactly know how it all plays out if Jimmy continues to be a factor but whatever happens I'm very excited to see it play out and I love getting to see all the events in the past of Mike's past get to play out as well and dude has never stopped being a boss apparently was just born as a force to be reckoned with and I don't know exactly what kind of stuff he was involved in there as a dirty cop but it makes sense why he fell back into that sort of lifestyle when he came out to Al 
Albuquerque with obviously Gus and all that and Breaking Bad and so just an incredible episode overall every episode of this show so far has been just a complete banger I cannot wait to continue on with you all hopefully you're enjoying watching along with me for this show so many great aspects to it and if you did enjoy this video definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow and I look forward to seeing you all for the next episode and until then peace